the following scatter plot shows us the uh, population uh, of Galveston, Texas, uh, measured in thousands. Um, and we're labeling that um, value Y, that population Y, uh, T years after 1900. So the variable T represents the uh, elapsed years after 1900. Um, so the T values, the elapsed years are plotted along the horizontal axis in this scatter plot, and the Y values, the population uh, values, are plotted along the vertical axis. And we want to answer a very easy question here. We just want to use the scatter plot to estimate the population in uh, 2010. So uh, 2010, uh, that calendar year uh, corresponds to 110 elapsed years after the year 1900. And that's easy to calculate. Uh, you can do that in your head, but you can also do it uh, on paper just by subtracting uh, 1900 from 2010. And that gives us a T value uh, or an elapsed um, number of years after 1900 uh, as 110. Um, so um, to answer this question, we just need to find the point on the scatter plot, which corresponds to a T value of 110. And that's very clearly this point uh, here on the far right. So let's estimate the coordinates of that point. Of course, the first coordinates of uh, that point uh, is 110. And we just have to estimate the second coordinate of that point. Uh, that looks to me like that is, um, oh, about 48. So I think the y coordinate of this point is about 48. And it's that 48 that's going to give us the answer uh, to our question. Now, uh, this 48 doesn't mean that the population of Galveston, Texas was 48 uh, in the year 2010. Obviously, that's a ridiculous value. Uh, but you have to remember that these y values are measured in units of 1,000. So uh, to get that uh, population estimate, you would take the 48 and multiply it by uh, 1,000. And uh, that gives us our uh, estimated population in uh, 2010, which was uh, 48,000.